Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see how we can install Linux Manzaro alongside Windows 10 computer in a dual boot mode. So as you can see, already I have installed Windows 10 up and running and uh, in the first step, we are going to check for the free space available on this Windows 10 computer. So for that, I am going to right click on start button and select disk management. In the disk management snapping, as you can see, I don't have uh, unallocated space on my computer. So we need to shrink existing C drive. Uh, let's select the C drive, right click there and select shrink volume. Here we need to specify the amount of space to shrink in a megabyte. I'm going to specify 100 GB and then I'm going to click on shrink button. Okay, as you can see, now we have a... 97.66 GB unallocated space where we can install a Linux Manzar operating system. Remember this computer is installed with UEFI mode. Uh, here as you can see the partitions are there as well, recovery partition and 100 MB of EFI partition. Let's close this console. And first of all, I'm going to mount the ISO image of Linux Manzaro. For that I'm going to click on VM. And then I'm going to click on removable devices, on CD TVD, click on settings, click on browse button and select Linux Manzaro XFC 18.0 stable version. Click on open. We also want to connect this DVD. So let's click on OK as well. And now Linux Manzaro ISO image has been successfully mounted on a Windows 10 computer. Now we need to restart this Windows 10 computer and we need to boot this computer using Linux Manzaro DVD. In VMware at the time of booting you need to press F1 key to select boot order. Now here I am going to select a 5 VMware Virtual SATA CD-ROM. Once you select VMware Virtual SATA CD-ROM then you need to press enter key. And now a computer is booting using Linux Manzaro DVD. On this console you can navigate using arrow key. Uh, here you have to select boot Manzaro and then you need to press enter key. And here we go. On this console to start the installation process you need to click on a launch installer. Uh, suppose by chance if you close this console then here we have uh, options to start the installation process again. Let's click on launch installer to start the installation process. Uh, here uh, it is about the language and the by default selection is already there American English. We are happy with it. Let's click on next to continue. This virtual machine is connected with internet connection and that's why as you can see uh, a time zone is already selected. Uh, if you are in a different time zone then you can select as per your location. Uh, in my case, as you can see, a system language is already set to English India. Let's click on next. Now here we need to select uh, keyboard layout as well. I have to select English US and it will be a default one. Then click on next to continue. Now here we have uh, options that how you want to install this Linux Manzaro operating system. The first option is a long uh, Windows 10 computer. Second one is replace a partition. Third one is erase disk that will delete all the data currently available on your storage disk. But for this demonstration, we are going for a dual boot. That's why I'm going to select the fourth option, manual partitioning. Let's click on next to continue. Now here, as you can see, we have a total four partition that is already available on our Windows 10 computer. So we have an unallocated space here. We need to create partition for Linux Manzaro in free space. So select free space and then click on create button. Here I'm going to specify the size for our partition. Uh, here I'm going to specify 25 GB and a mount point will be slash. So we are creating a slash partition with the 25 GB size. Let's click on OK. Again select free space and click on create. Here I'm going to specify 40 GB. Uh, file system will be xt4 and this time our mount point will be slash home. Okay, let's click on OK button. Now I'm going to create uh, one more partition in a free space and this I'm going to click on create again. This time I'm going to create a Linux swap partition 
and the size will be double of your RAM which will be 4 GB in my case and this is a swap partition so I'm going to set flag swap flag as well let's click on OK now the most important change is there uh, as you can see here we have a FAT32 partition uh, it is a EFA partition on our Windows 10 computer so you need to select that partition and you need to click on edit button now here you don't have to change any other options simply under mount point you need to select slash boot slash AFI remember you have to only modify one value that is mount point here you need to specify slash boot slash EFI mount point as you can see the boot and ESP flag is already marked there let's click on OK so as you can see we have successfully created partitions to install a Linux Manjaro now let's click on next to continue it is asking about your name which will be Ampere TV in my case and I'm going to specify the password as well you can select this checkbox to use the same password for administrator account but I'm going to specify another password and click on next uh, let me adjust okay let's scroll this little bit okay and here we have options to start the installation so just read the summary and if you are happy with it click on install to start the installation process click on install now installation process will take some time to complete and once the installation complete a uh, system is going to ask for the restart and that's it as you can see installation process has completed successfully let's uh, select restart now and click on done and here comes the most important thing here as you can see we have three options first one is to boot into Manzaro Linux second one is for advanced options for Manzaro Linux and third one is Windows Boot Manager first we are going to boot into Manzaro Linux and once we successfully boot into Manzaro Linux then we will see can we able to uh, boot into Windows 10 computer or not so let's select Manzaro Linux and press enter key now specify the user's password and hit enter and that's it we have successfully logged in into Manzaro Linux let's click on restart and now this time I'm going to select Windows Boot Manager to verify our Windows 10 is working or not let's select Windows Boot Manager and press enter key and here we go just receive a password and press enter key so as you can see uh, we have successfully logged into Windows 10 computer as well that concludes our video demonstration on how to install Linux Manzaro alongside Windows 10 computer in a dual boot mode thank you all for watching this video